Hi guys, welcome to my RAM CPA CMA channel. My name is Ram Powdell. I am a designated accountant, CPA and CMA from Chartered Professional Accountants in Ontario, Canada. I have been working in accounting for many years. Lately, I have started sharing my practical reporting expertise on YouTube. I try to make videos with useful tips on preparing interactive and dynamic reporting models in Excel. Subscribe to my channel now and thumbs up. You will find different to my videos with practical examples. I also prepare practical accounting videos based on Canadian accounting system. Make sure you stay at my video very end. Let's get started. In this video, I am going to talk about daily cash planning. So what does daily cash planning is if you are working in treasury department, then your primary job responsibility could be to manage a cash in the company. So when you manage the cash, um, you need to look at what what are your mandatory obligations that you have to pay right away like your salaries rent any type of the interest or any government obligations you cannot really stretch that payable terms you have to pay on time otherwise those payables will have a big penalties so if you have a cash problem that you do not have the sufficient cash and the limited cash you need to manage in the company, then you can create a daily cash planning accounts payable disbursement schedule, which I'm going to walk you through today. So right now I have here the color index in my spreadsheet. You can see that if any payable, I'm going to highlight here the red color means those payable I need to pay immediately here. We need to pay those payable like all the government taxes, salaries, rent, interest uh, to the bank. So those are mandatory payables. If we do not pay, that will create the big issue in the company. But there are some other vendors, probably we buy all the material and uh, uh, all other production material in the company. So those we can take a phone call and we can tell them that, hey, I'm sending you the check uh, next uh, three weeks. So when you communicate clearly, then you can make them more comfortable. So you can make your cash plan accordingly, pay this week, who are the vendors you are going to pay this week, pay next week and pay this month or pay urgently. So this type of the schedule you can make, you can download these all the payables from your ERP system and then if you cannot make a decision for the payment then probably you can give to your boss or whoever they allocate cash and you can tell them that who are the vendor you would like me to process the payment this week you can say that or you can do yourself and then you can give opportunity to get their insight as well so what i'm going to do here is the column b i have the name of the vendor here and this is the 30 days payables this one is a 60 days payable sitting in 60 days payables are sitting in 90 days payables are sitting in 120 days so payment it is based on the payment term i did not put the payment term here we could but what i'm trying to do here is let's say mco legal services these are mandatory obligations that if we do not pay the legal bills we might be in in a problem or there could be the consequences so we might have to pay those bills so you can categorize this way but again you have the short and budget for the day then you cannot pay more than that also daily cash planning accounts payable disbursement schedule will become a vital for you so let me show you how to do it so we are going to create a daily cash planning function we are going to use your define function we are going to create and then that function will work for us so in order to do that i'm going to open the bba code window 
so that one is a click right mouse button on the tab and click at view code you can go there and once I go to the view code this is the BBA code window and the view code then what I'm going to do here is let me make this small because I don't need big space here because the code when I'm writing the code I want code window to be a big then click at the Microsoft Excel object here this is my BBA project daily cash you can see here a daily cash planning you could see the daily cash planning highlight that one and click at insert menu insert and click at module once you go to the module then within that module I'm going to create a user define function so that function will work or work for us to add the payables based on the caller so what I'm going to do is function will start from the function keyword function function keyword and after the function you have to type the function name so this is a daily cash planning daily cash planning and then parenthesis will start and I'm going to supply I'm going to create here the two two arguments here basically one I'm going to create a variable the first variable that will take the color the second variable will take the range this is what I'm going to do so first one will take the color that's what that one is a cash cash payment color index you can create this name long because you can do that that those names should be meaningful this is the way you need to create in macro I always recommend your name or your variable names should be meaningful so that one is a cash payment color index as range that object data type is a range then the other other variable I'm going to define that one is a sum I'm going to sum what I'm going to sum AP accounts payable and that one is a range I'm going to select the range after that that is also range data type is a range object range and my daily cash planning then close the parenthesis my daily cash planning here daily cash planning which is my function name that function data type is a double because that function should return my numeric number here maybe your payable is in the decimal so that you better to do that as a double instead of integer do it as a double data type then after that I need to look at that when user when your manager goes and then select any payable and then he will highlight the color this color then that color you need to retrieve that color first in the variable name so that variable is I'm going to define as a dim which is a dimension dim dim I'm going to say that is a my let me let me use that is a my highlight color highlight color as that color I am going to do that color as a double my highlight color as a double so then let's do this my highlight color my highlight color equal to what I'm going to assign in this my highlight color is I'm going to assign that is a cash payment color index this is exactly the same name this one cash payment color index this name dot interior color what I'm going to do here is interior dot color I'm going to explain this this is so important so I created here my highlight color I created that on my highlight color that one is a data type as a double because when it goes this my highlight color then that interior color I'm going to hold that interior color value in my highlight color because the color value is that that has a RGB color basically and I want to hold that color inside that my highlight color that's why 
my highlight color which is a name of variable which is a double data type then what I want to do is that is exactly same as the user defined color which I have here these are the color which these are the color I have and that color dot interior dot color exactly this one whatever the value it has that value will be assigning to my highlight color variable so after that we need for each loop the for each loop why I need for each loop is this spreadsheet is a big so I want that my loop to go and look at every single payable if your manager has highlighted any of the payable here I want to I want to sum those numbers here so in order to do that what I need to do is first I need to deem I want to define a variable name first so let me say sell that one sell deem sell as range object deem sell as range the reason I'm saying range is this data type is this will go and look at look at the other area too so when you go and look at this spreadsheet and then go and then look at every cell and it will find the value but right now what we are going to do is we need this data type as a range if you define this data type as a double or integer it is not going to work and it will give you the error message that the data type should be a variant type of the data type then after that what you need to do is let's use the for each loop for each then variable name cell and in use in and that one is a for each loop I'm going to use the for each loop right now you can for each loop for each is a keyword cell is exactly the same variable name we have defined here in is also a keyword then how the for each loop will go this is a sum range whatever the range we have selected that's the range I want that loop to go through so that one is a sum AP range as soon as you have a for each loop always say that next cell for each loop will go and then will go and end with next so let's not to leave too, too much space here one space is fine so for each cell in sum range means this is the sum user is going to define here when we use the formula that daily cash planning function here so sum range for each cell in some range and the next cell means this cell will increase two three four five like this it will go and increase that so after this let's use the if here if if cell dot interior color interior dot color remember that your color is a C O L O R not the not C O L O U R remember that that's a key equal to my highlight my highlight color my highlight color oops we didn't put then that's good that we got this one then so what I said here is if cell dot interior dot color if we highlighted any color here that is exactly same as the color we have in the cash payment index we have then if that is a case let's do first end if because if will end with the end if always and if that happens if that happens I'm going to if that happens what I need is let's copy this daily cash planning my daily cash planning I'm going to use that daily cash planning equal to daily cash planning plus sale dot value I'll explain this sale means whatever it comes in this cell this one it will go and check one by one and if this color and my highlight color 
means my index color here both are same both are same what I need is a daily cache planning which is a double data type then I want whatever I have in the daily cache planning loss and if I find that color I want to add that and then next cell here this loop will increase this this will go one two three four and it will go and it will look at all the range here all the range it will go up to this all range whatever the range we select it will go and look at that click at save and remember that your spreadsheet should be saved in macro enable spreadsheet always remember that if you don't save that it's not going to work so now we can use equal to and what the function we created that is the function name we created is a daily when you type daily here it comes here so this takes the two arguments so one is input color which is color is this and then comma and the second one it takes is a sum range so I'm going to sum this all I'm going to sum all this I'm going to sum the range is a C11 to K28 then I'm going to close the parenthesis here enter so here is nothing right now so I'm going to select here let's say this color click click at home and then go to the fill color here fill color icon and then in the fill color select the color you can see here what color is selected this is the color it selected so click at that color and then it has a same color right now so go and highlight that color I'm going to highlight let's say Mco legal services I am going to pay that invoice so click at that and go and then I'm going to pay that one to both this both I'm going to pay this 90 days and 120 days both I'm going to pay let's highlight the color then this didn't change which is fine right now so let me double click this formula and then press enter here so right now I'm going to pay my pay urgent pay urgently or pay immediately I'm going to pay these two invoices here this one is a seventeen hundred fifty the second invoice is a eight hundred dollar if I add both then I can see here a two thousand five hundred fifty so what I want is when I go and then click at the another color here I want this one to be be added automatically I want to do that what your manager is going to do is he's going to select this color and then he's going to assign the color as soon as he assigns I want that to be that to be updated that color to be updated automatically or um, what I'm going to do is this one I'm going to pull the other uh, this formula I'm going to pull below as well so let me first make C11 and K28 both I want to make this both let me make both highlight both C11 and K28 from your keyboard press F4 look at my other video also how to make how to make absolute or how to fix the sales you just need to you ju just need to add the dollar sign in front of that you can look at here that dollar C dollar 11 and dollar K dollar 28 so then once you have that you can copy that formula and then highlight the sale below right mouse button and then go and click at your format here that uh, your formulas you can do the formulas so once you have that you don't have any values here which is fine let me use that color right now so click again here and go to the the color is color is a light blue right now so I assign the so I'm going to assign the light blue color and go and highlight here light blue this didn't change here so let me go and then refresh this refresh this refresh this refresh this see light blue color it came here the light blue it's not being handy here so what you need to do is go again your go again your BBA code go again your BBA code and 
what I like to do is go to here seat properties here within the seat one which is a cache planning I want to show you here that where you need to go so seat one which is a cache planning AP aging you can look at here cache planning AP aging within seat so in that seat you can go and look at here you can see the general here in the general if you click at the drop down box there there is a org seat click at the org seat so in this org seat you have here selection change selection change event this is called the selection change event what the event occurred is when you put any code here anything you select here when as soon as you go to the next cell that function or that that code will be activated so what I'm going to do is as soon as I highlight the color here here I want this formula to be automatically updated so if you want to do that this is simple you can do the range lots of things you can do but the simple one is active seat dot calculate you can use all small which is fine so active seat dot calculate so when you do the active seat dot calculate what happens here let me let me remove this all the color first I'm just going to remove this color or which is fine you can use the same color you don't have to really change anything here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click at this red color click at here the format painter what do you want your manager or anyone whoever is doing the cast planning this is have to click at your cast payment color index click there and double click at your format painter double click once you do that this this is highlighted in your format painter look at your format painter this is also highlighted here and go below and then okay you say that I want to pay this one the 90 days over I want to pay this 21st century auto ink I want to pay $644 just click at there so as soon as you click at there 5894.84 it automatically updated again I click at the format painter okay I want to pay these three okay just do that as soon as you do that then you can look at here pay this week is updated automatically 15 22.23 you can add this 15 22.23 you can look at the status bar also your total okay I want to pay this month I want to pay these all the invoices below here this month so you said that okay that is a pay this month is a sixteen thousand eight hundred ninety six dollar and thirty cents or I also want to pay this particular invoice I want to pay this month click your mouse pointer pay this month and uh, click at the format painter and uh, click at $850 it's updated automatically again I want to pay this week I want to add that more okay you can do that click it here that uh, this week is updated automatically so when you do this like your active seat dot calculator which is a fine that code is a fine but if you use your intersect method you can simply use that calculation just only this range only you can do that too so your range is range starts from c11 to range goes to up to k28 c11 to k28 let's go back and use the intersect method and then we want this updated to be this uh, the active seat dot calculate is only this particular area if you want to do that and go back and what you can do is let's make this a bit smaller so that our code window will, will be big so if you can say not intersect intersect and start parenthesis your target comma range range is the range I just said C11 
to k28 that is only that range is nothing then close to parenthesis because you started here one parenthesis also and you also have another parenthesis here so you need to go close the double parenthesis here is nothing then you want this active c dot calculate okay active c dot calculate and anything starts from if you have to have end if you have to have end if so if not intersect target range c11 to k28 what is the c11 to k28 it starts from here c11 to goes all the down below k20 i just put here k28 you can go uh, below if you want to go below you can go below too k28 let's go back to our formula is nothing then your intersect we are using here the intersect with not operator in active c dot calculate in def so this way we are defining just only this area if we update anything then we have active seat dot calculate so then we need to calculate the number here this way we specified the particular area particular range that we are going to use that range so if you want to make that also dynamic that is automatically once you add the more payable here so this one will go and then that range will be updated automatically always go and then use that in the table format if you do that that's a, another benefit that if you are adding more payables and then you want to highlight that one so this one will go and then highlight sorry updated the range here that range c11 to k28 this range will be updated automatically so hope you like this uh, daily cash planning ap disbursement schedule so if you are in accounting or finance profession i'm sure that this will be a very helpful disbursement schedule for you if you want to learn other secrets of reporting in excel and accounting do not forget to subscribe to my ram cpa cma channel make sure you hit the bell and turn on the notifications if you want to practice yourself do not forget to leave a comment below and your email i will send over the excel file to you i also suggest you to watch my other videos in excel and accounting Thank you for watching and have a good one.